What's up, everybody? It's November 4th, 2021 in the Big Bear, California area. We're going to do a drive through Holcomb Valley. So we're going to try and do that because I've been wanting to go up there for so long. And you know what? I have a couple minutes today, so I thought we'll do that. We'll do that. And then I hope you guys appreciate the new Amish beard. <laughs> oh, say hi to Jedediah. Um, no mustache, Amish style. So... Yeah, or Khabib style, one of the two. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that was embarrassing. All right, never mind. But yeah, we're going to Holcomb. Holcomb. Holcomb Valley was where people uh, were first settled up here for the most part. When the gold rush deal happened down here, our gold rush, that's where people settled which was not where I'm pointing the camera I'm pointing the camera at the lake and just how beautiful the day is but that's like uh, snow summit and bear mountain over there but yeah this is unbelievably pretty um but yeah Holcomb Valley is on this side up here is where we're going and it is I think maybe like 800 feet higher than we are right now and that's where the town used to be like frontier town or something like that I can't remember exactly what it was called but um, yeah, that's where everyone settled up there. Um, they still have abandoned cabins up there, so that's what we're gonna go check out. There's nothing up there. There's there's no one living up there. There's only campsites and stuff like that. Well, not even in Holcomb, I don't think. But look at the colors of these trees, and look at how beautiful everything is, guys. What a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. All right, we're gonna shut this off for a second because the traffic is crazy. Once again, guys, they do all this work in the middle of the day. Just instead of like bringing those spotlights like they do down the hill, so at nighttime they can do some work. It's not like they're gonna get big rock slides over here. But I'm just complaining like usual. I'll shut the heck up. Beautiful. Though. All right, you guys, sorry about that. We just went through a bunch of construction, so there's no point in really uh, recording it. I'm sure there's enough construction going on down the hill. But yeah, so we're getting close to that Holcomb Road. Here's some campsites over here. Adjacent to the lake. I can't recall what it's what they I don't remember what they call it. But yeah, you can see all the all the campsites in there. That would be a, a really nice place because I like it really quiet. It'd be a really nice place to go when there's just no one out there. Like it is right now. Look, there's just, there's just no one, no cars. Is that the road I was supposed to take? I, I don't know, I think maybe. Or no, maybe it's the next fun. Oh man. We'll see. Hang okay. On. Holcomb Valley Road and Pollock Canyon. This is where we're going. I, for, I, I didn't turn on the camera fast enough to catch the sign right there, guys. I apologize. But we'll look at this sign. Holcomb Valley. Look at that. Six miles, guys. All right. All right. And unfortunately, since I got my car washed, we're gonna have to keep it, keep the windows up so we don't get any, any smoke, or smoke, any dust in the car. All right. Hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know what I'm hoping. Guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh man. See, I want to roll down the window because of views like this and it's a little bit blurry or, gl or glary. Glary. So we're climbing in elevation a little bit, as you guys can see. This is the other side of the lake from where we do our usual off-roading, guys. Everything we do is behind Snow Summit for the most part, which is what the camera is pointing at right now, Snow Summit out there. But yeah, this is... Uh, and I'm glad I filled up my gas tank in case something happens. I don't think I get the greatest of cell phone service out here. Woo! A little rougher than I thought it would be. It was a little rougher than I thought it would be. Man, I'm telling you, it's so cool to be able to have a vehicle to drive back here and do things like this. Most cars can get through here, for sure, but I think it gets a little not hectic but a little more rambunctious 
Oh, hey, there's another white car like mine. But it's not mine. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, sir? How you doing? All right. I remember one time I got stuck out here in my, I had a Mercedes, the 500, an ML 500. It was a 2004 and I got stuck out here when that thing would charge up here. I mean, the first two years I, I did my videos, that's what I was driving, an ML 500. And uh, the thing was a beast in the snow. I mean, it was an absolute beast, you guys. But I came up here like a year and a half into living here and tried to drive all the way to, to uh, Green Valley Lake or whatever it's called on the way back to Running Springs through the through the mountains over here. <laughs> trying to, oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Um, and unfortunately, I got stuck in like two and a half feet of snow. That guy who was pulled over, he's behind us now, so I'm gonna let him pass. He kind of looked like a creeper, with all due respect to creepers. I'm just gonna let him pass. Oh, nope, he's turning around. What a bunny. But anyway, look at this view in this like canyon area, you guys. See, this is like, this is the first video I've done back here in about five years, you guys. I can't believe I've waited this long. But we're headed towards Holcomb Valley. As you guys saw, it's many, many miles till we get there. Well, not many, many, but it said six miles from the start. And at this pace, we're never gonna get there. Let's turn on the AC. Wah, wah, wah. All right, a sizzle. A sizzle in the hizzle. Yes, this is awesome. I enjoy this so much with you guys, seriously. I know a few of you wanted to do this so you guys can see it, so figured what better time than a really slow time for me in my daily life, in my daily activities. All right. So cool going up here to the first place. Um, people actually lived up here. At least set up like cabins and stuff like that and had trade and whatnot. And the reason why we have donkeys up here, I've heard, is from that gold rush era in this mountain range. Uh, they brought them up obviously to help do a lot of the physical labor in terms of moving big pieces of this and that. And when the gold ran out, they left them up here and it's been like a hundred and I don't know, a hundred and something years. So they've just stayed up here and just, I don't know, sometimes I'll go a whole year and not even see any. A couple years actually. I didn't see any for my first, I think it was like three or four, three years here maybe. And then I saw one and I thought it was somebody's personal donkey. And so I called the police saying, hey, it's some, someone's donkey escaped. And the police didn't in any way try to say, hey, did you know that there are wild donkeys up here? Could it possibly be that? Then I, I would have thought, all right, you guys, the camera overheated. <laughs> you believe this darn thing, man? These iPhones really, I mean, they give you a great video, which is why I use it, but <clears throat> it overheats all the time. It's such a bummer, man. Wow, it's so pretty out here, though. All these little paths that everyone can walk up and take all these trails. I wonder if like one, of, I'm sure one of these is part of the, uh, that, what's that trail called? It's, it's that big, the Pacific Crest Trail. Yes, the Pacific Crest Trail. Pacific Crest, and look at the view back there. That's of like the other side of the lake where I live and the mountains where I live near. Snow Summit and all that good stuff. But we're gonna focus ahead. You've seen enough of that through my videos. I know this is a different perspective, so any good chance we get, we will certainly, certainly show you. But yeah, this is, this road's actually not that bad, you guys. I made it seem like it's, it's a lot worse than it is. It's really not that bad. Ooh, if I get to the edge though, it might not be fun. It's so pretty in here. I've got 
Skid Row stuck in my mind. The band. That song, I Remember You. Hey, wait. Is that what it's called? I think so. I think so. Not 18 in life, or, but one of their other popular ones. I don't know why it's in my head all day. We gotta be a little more careful because if we do go over the edge here, oh look, there's a little, another trail to, oh wow guys, look, there's a trail over there. You can take your truck or your vehicle that way. But we're just gonna take this main route to N09. We usually take to N10 and then meet up with all the other different off-roaders, off-roads over on the other side. Alright. Wow, they did they patched this up quite a bit. I oh I remember one time this was a different time. I went hiking up in here. And uh, at this point it was so icy right here, just walking like it was so hard to walk. So I was walking like on the side over here to avoid all the ice, it was horrible. There were cars stuck right here. I felt so bad for them. You wanna know how I got out? When I got stuck way deep in here. I mean, I got stuck way deep. And I, I know AAA would not ever come out to do something like that because it's way off road. But I got someone to freaking do it. And I didn't have any money back then, so like the few hundred dollars that I had, it, it sucked, but I had to give it to him. And then like, he wanted more and more, and I, point is I got my damn car back, and he was super cool, helped me out. But man, getting stuck back here, guys, that's, that's no, that's no, it's, it's no joke. It's no joke. Cell phone service is, is, an, is nailed back here. She got nothing. All you can do is record your demise for people to come find you and see what happened. <laughs> or just walk out, one of the two. But the older I get, the harder these walks are on me. I feel so lame saying that, <laughs> but it's true. Not hard, it's just like, like I used to be able to like run this damn thing probably, and now nothing. Okay, this road's closed, so now I'm very intrigued. What's going on here? Guys, look at how cool that looks. It looks like we're like driving into some like Halloween, village the road looks like a night before Christmas type of a road I don't know why most of my references oh look we're on a paved road that's right it gets paved for a little bit and then it'll get nasty again right at the top if I remember nasty oops slow down slow it down big man all right once we get to the top yeah I think so Smashing the phone into the window. The window. Let those cell phones fall. All right, man. That sun is pretty bright. It's 71 degrees over here. Guys, that's nice weather. Isn't it? That's beautiful. The lake and everything's that way. Oops. Oops, what is this? Oh, these guys. Look, see, it's a dirt road here now. Wow. These guys parked here to hike. I'm assuming. Oh, oh, there's the Holcomb View Trail. That's super cool. I never. Okay. There's like a big sign for that walking trail right there, which is cool. All right, guys. There's so much back here. I forgot. Usually it's harder to get back here, you guys. It's like, uh, it's just, and because of my work and stuff like that, the time away with no cell phone service can 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 be pretty rough. But I love doing this. I love this. Like this is why I'm like, I mean, these are the things I wanted to do when I moved up here. And it's so beautiful. We're gonna move on a little bit here. Okay. It's, a, it's a big, beautiful dirt road here. Nice and wide. Nice little fire break as well. 
sure it doesn't help one bit with trees like that touching from one side to the other, but, and just a little freaking a fart of wind will blow an ember from that side to this side, no problem, no problem. So coming up here, like, uh, I, I, yeah, as I said, I've been up here when there's snow because they don't, I don't recall them closing down this dang, this dang road, so I've been up here, got stuck, but, um, I remember there being humongous puddles at the bottom of all of these little dips that we're going up and down right now, these little dips like that. Huge, huge puddles. Some of them would go up to the door of the car. They didn't look that deep, but they were. Here's another closed road. And here's something you can just make your own way. Guys, we, man, if I had indestructible tires, we would definitely do this type of stuff. Here's a little path right here. So remember guys, up here at this elevation, like I think like 8,000 feet or something like that, this is where people lived and we're coming up on where the town was. We'll go to the sound of pouring rain. There's an off road right there we can take. And it is, I remember you. Okay, yeah, I totally remember this part, big time. Because it's just a long up and down stretch. This is what I was talking about. Look, there's paths everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. Sorry it's so bumpy, but it just is. It's just really bumpy back here. Oh, look here, there's a puddle right here. Hey, that puddle boy. How you doing there, puddle? Guys, you can come up here and like, if you have a good enough vehicle, we'll check on this first. I'm sure you can't just drive out anywhere you want through there. I'm sure that's why they have designated roads, but, and there's a fence there too. Give it a shot and go camping. If it's, if you look it up and it says it's totally fine, I suggest you guys do that because I think it'd be a lot of fun out here. Just really peaceful. I know for a fact this part of the mountain range gets some pretty heavy duty lightning and thunder action. Holcomb Valley Ranch, no trespassing. So Holcomb Valley Ranch is right over there. Dang it, no trespassing, dang it. I want to trespass. Gosh, why can't I trespass today? I just, all I wanna do is just trespass. All right, our phone's gonna go dead again. All right, my apologies guys, had to cool down the phone for a minute. Again, I'm not even holding it in the sun. I'm not even holding it in the sun. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, I don't think you guys have seen this. Well, you, wait, you guys see this view all the time. That's looking straight ahead, huh? Yeah, okay, never mind. Just trying to do something a little different. Maybe do a handstand the camera that way I don't know I mean guys it's like so flat up here there's there's just so much room but it's I'm assuming they put the town up here in this area because maybe the Big Bear area you know how we have all our streets down there and stuff but there were trees there before that's a lot of work to, to excavate all those trees holy road man Guys, this is this is nut bar. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, cool. We made it through that one. Oh my gosh! But look at how beautiful everything is here. Everything's just so peaceful and perfect, and and just summer camp feel. Right? Look at that. Another path right there. What? 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 I love these paths. Why don't you marry it? Here's another one. But we're gonna get to Holcomb so you guys can see Holcomb. I mean, we're kind of in the Holcomb area. Oh, look, there's a cabin right there, or a couple cabins. The cabin in the woods. Let me see if we can uh, zoom in. I wonder if that's like. 
Hold on a sec, guys. I'm sorry. I'm wondering if those cabins are for like the for the forestry service or something like that. But they look kind of old from here. I'm gonna see if I hold the camera up. If you guys can see when I zoom in, I'm gonna do the best I can. I don't know if you guys can see anything out there, but there's definitely cabins. Sorry, guys. I I looked through. I couldn't see anything through the dang camera, so I don't want to waste you guys' time. But. Wow, very cool. Another road, more private property. Jeez Louise, what's up with all this private property up here? This would be like a good place for Cheech and Chong to move to. Look, there's a huge valley over there. That's where we're going, Dad. That's, that's where we're going, Holcomb. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. When I came up here for the first time, it was the most beautiful place in Big Bear. I think you guys will agree with me. When we get to a certain part and I point across that like valley that I was just getting so excited about over here, when we point across it and you see how absolutely gorgeous it is with the mountains in the background and just a plain without any trees, it's unbelievable. It's like this, but just huge. Oh my gosh, this is awesome, guys. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, here's another road, boy. Holcomb Valley landowners. Okay, what's that sign say? Let's zoom in real quick. Can you guys see that? I'll read it to you. Holcomb Valley landowners for safety and security reserve the right to photograph, document, record any and all persons and vehicles traveling through Holcomb. All right. Nowhere are you able to have privacy guys nowhere oh, there's some cabins way out there too Jeez, guys this road is so bad i'm sorry it's not bad it's just when you're trying to film it's not the easiest i'm doing the best i can here's another path it's not the same one as the one right across the way here look here's another one are you kidding me no overnight camping guys this is amazing look at this I mean, honestly, though, and I'm not trying to, to, to like be like rebellious, but like, I wonder how often, uh, I bet they actually do come out and check because the government's paying the forest three service. So that's probably part of the, part of the job. I'll drive around and make sure people are following the rules of, of the road here. Well, that's not the road, but okay. Here we got another big, wow, look at how big this one is. What is going on here? Look at that. Look at, we're way up in the back of the, I, I totally forgot about that road right there. Hey, there's, there's another part of that road right there. Now we're on three and 16, or maybe if we turned right, that would have been three and 16. Well, we are not three and 16 into it. We are doing this original route. Oh my goodness. This is incredible back here, guys. I forgot what it's like back here. I really forgot. As I said, this is where the original settlers up here settled. Okay, yeah, we're getting close, we're getting close. I'm gonna have to roll out my window shortly. Here's another road. I think that goes back to a couple of the old cabins. Yeah, guys, in like the late 1800s or, or whenever it was, I think. Whenever it was. Okay, which way do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Oh, here we are. We're getting close, guys. I can see the opening to this valley. Seriously, driving this whole road to get right here is like, it's like the magic moment. Like, whoa, it's unbelievable. It's so beautiful back here. And the road's in better condition than the last time I came up on here. So that's wonderful that they did some work on it. Look, guys, it's just a big old valley full of trees right here. And then we're coming up to a place where there are zero trees. And it's just, it's just prairie. It's like little house on the prairie. The most perfect, most beautiful spot up here. This is it. I'll show you, it's, we're coming up to it. I'm so excited. I hope it's still here. Here we go. Look, there's a cabin right there. Sounds like I have a flat 
that tire. That's not good. This is the view right here. Look at look at that old cabin. No one behind us. I'm not expecting anybody. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Hey, birdie. Guys, this is the view. This is the view. Look at how big it is up here. We're gonna pull up a little bit more. in Big Bear right here. This is absolutely the most beautiful place in Big Bear. Hang on a second. Bro. You guys, yeah, this is absolutely just stunning. This place right here. I mean, look at this. It really doesn't get any more beautiful. I mean, it's... I don't even... I can't even begin to describe how I'm feeling right now. This is beautiful. This is stunning. here at the end where that other car is driving out from and head back. The drive back is going to be just as interesting as well because you'll be seeing it from a different angle for your first times. A lot of your first time. This is really un unreal. I mean, look at this, guys. And this used to be the town up here. This is where people lived. This was this was, you know, this was the Big Bear area. <laughs> I'd be doing my Big Bear weather and more videos up here. A hundred years ago. Isn't it just unbelievably beautiful though? There's some purple over there it looks like. Purple in the grass. I'm telling you guys, it used to be, like, uh, the last time I was up here, it was so green. I was thinking it might be really green because of all the rain we just got, but it's not as green as I wanted it to be. Rolled up my window so we don't get dusted. Dusted. There's a street up here we're going to turn left to kind of give you another angle of this beautiful area and then we're going to turn around and head back i wish i could go through the whole road because it drops us off very far away but i can't right now we're already gone a lot longer than i anticipated there we go but the road's well maintained you guys there's just a couple little spots where it's a bit rough but you can just can really slowly maneuver over or around those little spots so you'd be fine and if you want to come up here and experience this i suggest it look at this look at how big this area is look at this there's a sign right there it says highway 38 and pine knot flat seven miles that way pine knot flat but we're going this way right now so you guys can see the valley from this angle side and there's so much to do up here you guys i mean imagine guys just camping out here for like a week you just walk who's gonna find you just in the middle out there somewhere no one you'll be seriously experience life imagine what the stars would look like laying down right here guys oh my gosh this is insane but anyway we're coming up to the end here i got stuck in the snow up here 
and they came and picked me up. I walked all the way to where I could get phone service, which was the very bottom. So quite a few miles, like eight miles from this point or something, I think. But yeah, guys, look at that. Imagine just sitting here having lunch on your lunch break. <laughs> Come on now. Luckiest guy in the world. I am the luckiest guy in the world. This is incredible. Just unbelievably magnificent. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really do. I'm sorry again, it's so bumpy at some points. I'm doing the very best I can. I promise you, if I had the gimbal in the car, it would be worse. I've tried them all. I really have. The only thing that works well are the are my GoPros on the stand. Like on this GoPro stand right there, with, with the stabilization features of the new GoPros and stuff, like it's it's a perfect video, but it takes twice as long to upload. And I just I just can't do that. So look at this, because my videos are so long anyway. Alright, highway 38. It's well it says only three miles, that's kind of weird. It's further than three miles. Because it's six miles to get to Holcomb, just to the beginning of Holcomb. At least that's what I always. Oops, you guys, you guys heard that, right? That didn't sound good. I bet it was a rock just being ricocheted up, hitting my train horn. But yeah, guys, this is Holcomb, folks. Paths everywhere. All right, sorry about that, guys. I gotta get back. But I just love doing this for my friends. I love you guys, man. Oh shit! Heck yeah, that was cool. See that guy getting some air right there? That was awesome. I got out of his way, threw him the peace sign, and he threw his body as a peace sign to me. Seriously, man, I love seeing people doing that stuff up here. Look, guys, see what I said? Like, come up here and have a blast like that. Get a get a dirt bike and just come up here and just smash. Just like comes out Shemaya. I smash everybody, bro. I smash everybody. <laughs> Nobody can beat me. Hey, bro. Hey, brother. I smash everybody, brother. <laughs> if you guys know who comes out Shemaya is. If you're a fight fan at all, I think this guy is going to be the guy to, to take Usman's belt. As much as I really can't stand Covington, as, as much as I can't stand him, I feel like he can't help the way he is, so I feel sorry for him. And I, I kind of want him to win Saturday night against Kamaru. I like Kamaru a lot, though. That guy's amazing. But, you know, I'd like to see things get switched up a little bit and see Colby... Uh, conquer his biggest loss anyway look at that but yeah i'm a huge 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 usman fan especially after he knocked out freaking jorge dude that was one of the hardest punches i've ever seen in my life and i'm a huge masvidal fan huge masvidal fan love the guy love the guy the guy's cool as hell but i'm telling you with when usman knocked him out like that i i i got a completely new respect for Kamaro Snoozman Usman. That's what one of the many nicknames Colby calls him. Snoozman. He's the he's the CEO of EPO. <laughs> that's what that's what he calls Kamaru. It's, it's, it's terrible. But at the same time I want to see Kamaru smash Colby to shut him up. Because Colby does talk a lot. But he backs it up a lot too. It's unfortunate. Guys like that I like to see get their butts kicked. <laughs> Like Colby. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this.
dirt bikers like that guy who's charging. That would be my worst nightmare on these roads is to be driving like an idiot and to cause some damage to some innocent beings. This is bystanders. There's that big road right there that we're not taking. Holy moly. That was rough. That was a little better for two seconds. Here's another little rough part. Whoa. Got it, man. Oh, 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 slow it down. All right. Turn back on the air, turn the air conditioning back on. Holy heat wave. Oh, big bump. It's just so pretty up here. Oh, we're gonna go way over here. We're avoiding this. So you guys can see where the big puddles are. I think this was the deep one right here. Seriously, it was up to my damn door. <laughs> my damn door. And my and my car is lifted too. This is a lifted. I got it lifted by two inches. It doesn't sound like much for those of you who don't know much about lifts, but it's a two inches, that's decent. That's that's pretty decent. I've cleared a lot of things that I wouldn't clear in in other cars, which is pretty cool. There's one spot in particular in town um, where Stater Brothers is at that stoplight. When you're leaving Stater Brothers, dri uh, driving back onto Big Bear Boulevard, I would always bottom out there no matter what I did. Turn my car sideways, everything. I would barely scrape or hit hard. With this thing, I can drive like 20 miles an hour and, and I still won't bottom out. It's great. It's beautiful. It's wonderful, man. My phone feels like it's gonna overheat. Great. Let me blast the AC, kind of cool off the car a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that was pretty hard. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I'm glad I hit that turn real quick there. Uh, this glare sucks, I'm sorry guys. The phone's gonna be done here in a sec. It's a much better picture. Doing this for you guys, man. We 
break the car, we break the car. What happens if we break the car? We get a new one. That's the attitude I have to take because I love doing this. Nothing will ever stop me. Nothing. Here we go. We are at the summit of this part. Driving out of here, guys, is going to be spectacular, though, because of the lake. The lake views. Oh, man, you guys are going to love it. And I could be wrong when I'm saying first settlers, but I know this was the first town up here. Maybe there were Native Americans and stuff like that that uh, um, occupied the valley. I'm not 100% sure. That wouldn't be a surprise. Because it was their place first. Yeah, so maybe this was the first like real city recognized by the United States frontier or something or recognized by the state of California which is good enough in the winter time the ice will stay here all winter because it gets no sun right here Literally, like that spot, there will be ice till like July. Not really, but it'll last as long as any ice. kind of sucks all that noise but think of it like it like I'm just riding a bike or something and it's a GoPro and you're you're hearing the wind blow by when I say that it makes me miss driving my motorcycle I'm lazy so since since I already wrapped it up and and it's it's Harley clothing for the winter and put it in its little igloo for the winter um, I'm just too lazy to unwrap it all I have to do is just unsnap one button and take it off, but we'll see. If we have a slow winter with snow, I'll take the bike out for sure. Alright guys. So we're going to be entering the view area for the lake in just a moment. And this is a really beautiful view from this side looking down. It's absolutely beautiful. Look, there's a big little... So today up there we saw a total of four cars. We saw one driving in, or well, we passed him while he was driving out and then he followed us for a minute and then turned around. Two cars parked and then the one guy in Holcomb who we saw who was coming back from Holcomb. I didn't expect to see anybody up there to be honest. So that's pretty cool. Look at these views. We're starting to get the nice views. I just didn't want you guys to miss any of when the lake just pops out of nowhere up here. It's going to be so pretty. This San Gorgonio still has a bunch of snow on the top. Not a bunch, but plenty. You can see the chutes coming down on the far left. Those are all white. 
And you can see our ski resorts right here with nothing on them. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, we're almost out, I think. But we hit a couple little views, as I said. seeing our ski resorts over here with all these fall colors right down there. driving these roads you guys I, I'm not gonna lie it really is Yeah, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Glad we didn't go fast over that part. I couldn't tell that it was that gnarly. That thing almost had us bottoming out. Bottoming out. Oh, man. Got a couple more little lake views coming up. And some glare views. And remember, guys, this drops you off at Highway 38, which is the main, one of the main highways of the mountain range. Highway 38 takes you down the back side, well, the back of the front side. <laughs> a lot of people refer to it as the back, but it's actually, it's, it's still the front. Highway 18 on the back is technically the back. We do enter town from the back on Highway 38, but we start to drive from the front. If that makes any sense. I think we're coming up to some more views here. Some more spectacular views. Wow, look at that. Gosh, guys, it's so amazing. any obstruction from the car. That's amazing. I'm telling you guys, very romantic up there too. Bring your significant other and just, you know, go for a nice walk up here. I would say bring a bottle of champagne, but I don't want to get, get, get in trouble. But that would be the perfect place for like a camp, or sorry, a camp, a picnic with some champagne, if I was a drinker. But for most of you that can handle your liquor, I'm sure uh, that would be awesome.
just about out. Yeah, right here at the beginning, I was, I was, I was kind of worried that the road was going to be really bad if it was already really rough right here. But nope, we're good. We were good. I think I know you guys will be good too. Look at this. Okay, we're out of here. We are out of here. They got some houses out, some cabins out here and stuff. That's so cool. Highway 38. This is the other side of the lake near Fonskin. Love you all. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed that ride. Here's Pollock Canyon Road. That's what we turned on. I love you all. You take care.